My name is Mike Jackson and I'm a geology expert and expedition leader with Lindblad Expeditions National Geographic. I am so lucky to be landing at this amazing site of Yan Mai, an island in the middle of the North Atlantic. This is a really difficult place to get to. We're so lucky to be able to visit Yan Mayan in a season like this where there's no ice, there's no snow. We were there in bright sunshine. We have daylight 24 seven, and it's a very, very special time of year. Jan Mayen is in the middle of the North Atlantic, in between the area of Svalbard archipelago, Iceland, and the coast of East Greenland. It's right on a ridge in the middle of the North Atlantic. The Jan Mayen is situated on a hot spot in the middle of the North Atlantic. It's also at a fracture zone, so the combination allows magma to get into these cracks, comes up through the surface, and makes this amazing volcanic island. This island is almost like the Galapagos, but with snow. An island like Jan Mayen does not have a lot of wildlife. It's very hard for animals to get there and colonize and then survive. The only animals that we really saw were the birds. We saw many, many fulmars, both nesting and feeding along the shore on krill. Jan Mayen has a very stark but very beautiful landscape. The high Arctic area has a few mosses and grasses. There's really very little vegetation, but that allows the geology to shine because there's nothing to cover the rocks. The landscape of Jan Mayen is changing all the time. The wind and the waves are constantly crashing on the shore, blowing onto the hills, and eroding the material. Most of the volcanic material is quite soft, and so it's very easily worn away. The entire landscape is a balance between the new land being created by the volcano and the loss of that land by nature's forces. We have a young volcano, Birnberg, which is 2,277 meters high. That's almost 7,500 feet. It is still very active, but the last lava eruption was in the 1970s. It's a classic stratovolcano. It's got that beautiful conical shape, and we were just surrounded by lava flows and ash cones and volcanic landscape. You can really see how the volcanic cones formed, how the lava flows. You can see layers where old soils were baked, and it's just really easy to understand the geology. And that makes it very special.